are you today? So today I am here with a holiday makeup look. I know these are all over right now, but I just couldn't let the holiday season pass by without doing like a Christmassy holiday makeup look. So this is something kind of cranberry, but a little bit purple, a little bit smoky. Anyway, if you guys are interested in seeing how I got this look right here, please go ahead and keep on watching. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more videos. Now let's get into it. Okay guys, so I do already have my foundation and concealer done and my eyebrows done. So all of that will be in the description box below, but let me go ahead and show you guys what we're going to do with the rest of our face. Okay, so I think I'm ready to just go ahead and go into my eyes right now. I'm not going to do anything else on my face just yet. So I'm actually going to take this e.l.f. Nude Rose Gold palette. I'm just going to take this shade first and place that on the crease. Okay, so that didn't do much, but it's enough for now. Because now I'm going to go ahead and go in with my pop of color. And I'm going to be using this ColourPop shadow in the shade Erotic. Now, I know you can't actually get this at drugstores, but you can get it... Um, look how bright that is. <laughs> you can get it online, and it's only $5. So it's definitely in that drugstore price range. So I'm going to place that with my finger all over the lid but I'm gonna be careful not get it too close to that crease because we're gonna to want to blend it out in just a minute and I'm just layering it a couple times and that's probably about as high as I want to go with it so then taking a bit of a smaller brush I'm gonna go in with this shade right here and this shade right here kind of mix the two and I'm just gonna place that right in the crease to kind of deepen up the crease and then we'll go in and blend that other shade but do you see how that deepens up the crease a lot more? So I'm doing that first and then we'll blend all together. You guys have one eye that just doesn't cooperate with you when you do your makeup? That's this eye for me. <laughs> okay, so then I'm gonna take that same brush that I actually used to place my transition color and I'm gonna work on blending all of these shadows together and blending them out like into the edges there. I am actually gonna run it over my whole lid so that I can pick up some of that red color and kind of bring it up a little bit. You guys see how that kind of just melted the colors together and then we can go back and add more of that red in a little bit but it just is nice to kind of have them blend really well together a little bit more of that red color and then i think i actually want to take my fluffy brush with that darker that combination of this one and this one and see if i can't get a nicer kind of darker effect on the uh like a smoked out darkness to that crease so let's pray that this doesn't mess it up I'm just going back in with that red just a little bit. Well, a lot, I guess. <laughs> I can't decide if I want eyeliner or not, like a winged liner. So I'm just going to go ahead and take that red again, and I'm going to place that on the lower lash line. I'm going to kind of start on the lower lash line and see if we think it looks better with eyeliner, without eyeliner, whatever. So we're going to take that on the lower lash line. Okay, so it looks really scary, so I think we do need to use some wing liner. I'm just going to use this Wet n Wild Cream Eyeliner. Alright guys, I do not like this liner! I've been working on it forever, trying to fix it. Ugh, and now it's like messed up my eyeshadow. Not a fan. Okay, so for lashes today, I'm going to go in with these Ardell... 106 ones. All right guys, lashes are on. So now I'm going to go in with my Jordana Best Lash Extreme Mascara and I'm going to do that or apply that to the top and bottom lashes. I am the, one of those people that likes to put my lashes on before I put mascara on because I think it just makes it a little bit easier. If you guys struggle with applying false lashes, try putting it on before you put your mascara on. I promise you I was never able to do false lashes until I started doing it that way. So it kind of sucks because your lashes obviously won't last as long if you're putting mascara on your fake lashes, but to me it's worth it to actually be able to use the false lashes. So I'm going to go ahead and use that e.l.f. highlighter to highlight my face. I just sprayed a little bit of this e.l.f. primer mist on my beauty blender, on my um, e.l.f. sponge, and tapped it on top of the highlighter to make it more intense. And now it's like, whoa. <laughs> First, I want to apply my bronzer. Where did it go? I literally just had it in my hand. Oh, 
I dropped it. All of my brushes that I like to use on my face are packed away right now because I'm leaving on a trip right after I film this video. <laughs> so I'm gonna go see my family in Utah and I'm really excited. But anyway, all of my brushes are packed away so I'm using the same brush. And now we can apply our lip products. So today for lips, I'm thinking Jordana Sweet Cream Matte Lip Color in Creme Brulee. We'll see if that looks good. Look at that, it looks like my own lip color. <laughs> Do you guys see the difference from the top to the bottom? I decided I didn't like that color, so I'm going right on top of it with ColourPop's Bleeper, and it's just the same color, but a little bit darker. Okay, I like that lip a lot better. Okay, so I'm gonna go fix my hair. Well, let's see, maybe I can just shake it out right here. All right, guys, I think that's as good as my hair is gonna get today. I don't know what its deal is, but the last couple days, it's not cooperating. Look at it, it's like, ugh, static and frizzy. <laughs> anyway, I really enjoy it. This is something I would totally wear. But let me know what you guys thought in the comments down below. And I really hope you guys are having such a great holiday season. I've said it before, and I'll say it again. This is my absolute favorite time of the year. So I really hope you guys are enjoying it and having a great time and spending time with your family and of course being kind and nice and loving to others. Like I said in one of my videos previously, give people the benefit of the doubt. If there's any time of year to do that, it's now, right? <laughs> anyway, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!